What's up guys, it's Mike Ice in your corner. Mercedes-Benz E350 front brake pad replacement. Let's go. So first thing you need to do is jack up the car and remove the wheel. Okay, with the wheel removed, the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna- Just loosen this. Just loosen that T30 Torx, just loosen. You just want this loose, you don't wanna take it off all don't the way. Don't undo it, all the way. Next, undo the spring. Next, we're gonna undo the 13 millimeters holding on the caliper. On the passenger wow. side, remove the wear sensor. There we go. All right, zip tie that caliper up there. Okay, so then we just feed this through. Okay, then uh, don't worry about these. I know they look super fancy, but you don't have to mess with them at all. Uh, we just have to undo two 18 millimeters, one here and one here, and then this bracket will come off. Okay guys, so undo the caliper bracket. It's two 18 so millimeters. So once you undo those two, the, the bracket comes off over here. I'm then gonna, you'll undo uh, the little Torx. This, and then brush these two surfaces. You'll undo the little Torx to remove the rotor, obviously, once the caliper bracket has been removed. Remove the old brake pads. So this is after 70,000 miles. We're gonna refinish it to look like this. It's gonna be real nice. Very nice. Put your rotor back on. Make sure you match this with this. Don't go too tight, just a little bit. There you go, that's enough. Next, we're gonna put the bracket back on, which is held on by two 18 millimeter bolts. Okay, then you just put a little bit of uh, molly grease on these Make sure you right here. torque that bracket back bit. on. Okay, it's on before I uh, compress the caliper. We're gonna go up here. I'm gonna undo this motherfucker. I'm gonna put uh, paper towels all around it so in case there's too much of it. It's not gonna spill on my, uh, down in there, and I don't want any of that to spill. You can use anyway, rags too. This is not a nice little barrier. Okay, to compress the piston, I use that by putting it deep down there. Okay, so to compress the piston, we're gonna reach in. So, there you go. Keep in mind, you can't hurt that boot. You hurt that boot. You take your thumbs, push here, from top to below, then push. There you go. On like that. Next, we'll take these 13 millimeters. We're gonna torque them in just a moment, but right now we're just gonna get them nice and snug. Next, we'll take the spring here. And the sensor. Make sure you torque that. It's uh, 25 Newton meters. Make or sure you remove the paper pounds. towels and retighten the cap. Okay, make sure to pump the brake a few times until it's firm. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mike Ice. Slam that like button for me if you can. I really appreciate that. And if you have any ideas, comments, suggestions, feedback, anything, leave a comment below. I'm usually on here like once every few days. So um, I really uh, like your guys' feedback. So anyway, I hope you guys learned something new and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.